Hello there, it's me, Kyo K. As is tradition, here is my tier clear on White Mage. So, first things first. Why did I pick White Mage over Astro? Well, Astro is really strong right now and very useful to the team. However, I just like playing White Mage and I think it's perfectly good enough to clear. Yeah, Astro has a few more tools that they can use if they're really good at planning to save situations, but they are nice to haves, not need to haves. Should not feel bad about wanting to play White Mage just because everyone's saying Astro is really strong. White Mage has a lot of its own strengths, such as Lilies being the best heals in the game. You can cast them on the move, you can buff them with Confession up to 3 times in 3 GCDs. And just the raw heal of Cure 3 can save many recovery situations. So, White Mage players out there, don't feel bad. It is still a very good job, and you can still clear on it perfectly fine, as seen by my day 3 clear. Being comfortable on the job is way more important than trying to play a quote-unquote better job that you're not as comfortable on. Because you're going to make more mistakes trying to do mechanics, and you're just going to be overwhelmed if you're not used to it. Also, White Mage got a Dash and Dawn Trail, which is really fun to use and has come in clutch many times in my prog on this tier. Now onto the fight. I will say this fight does not have many very difficult heal checks. I was struggling to find places that Lily Bell would be useful, but there's not a lot of damage to the point where I had to save it for anything in particular. So I kind of just used it to the best I could. Here are the spots where I decided to play on my Temperance and my Lily Bell usages on this fight. If you want to copy them, feel free. But if your co-healer wants you to shift your Lily Bell or your Temperance anywhere else just to make their life easier, you can do that too. Communication is always key for having a successful healer pair. Yes, flex, buddy. Delta. One thing to keep in mind is for this stack damage to not overmit it. If everyone survives it, you don't need to use too much because the triple gun mechanic right after it is a much harder heal check. I decided to use Temperance for Gun, and using Lily Bell for this as well is not a bad idea. I just decided to save Lily Bell for the transition slams, which do hit pretty hard. Make sure to save some resources for the healing here since there's a lot of medium hits of damage here. You want to have Confession or, or a stockpile of Lilies or both. Also, just keep an eye out on your main tank's HP. 
the autos are pretty hard actually, but with the extra Tetra charge that way that white mage got in Dawn Trail, you can now freely use that to top up tanks because previously it was common to save Tetra for emergencies or recovery situations, but with two charges you can use the first one just for convenience. One other thing is, you will see me GCD heal a lot in this fight, and that is perfectly fine. In fact, I would say I always tell people to overheal in prog rather than underheal. Yeah, you can use lilies for heals, but you could also replace a lily with a medica 2 and save the lily for rough situations where you need an instant heal or you need a movement. The more resources you can save up while you're progging, the better you'll be able to recover situations. And with better recovery, you'll be able to prog faster with your team. For these tail slams, our group 10 kill bead, which I think most groups should, because not 10 kill being that will make it very hard to heal and mid, especially with the uh, pre transition slams. Without 10 kill bead, you would almost certainly have to temp and lily bow that. Just 10 kill be it. The DPS check isn't hard. You don't need to melee LB. You will see me downtiming a lot of casts as well, or movements. It's always better to downtime and not press glare to focus on a mechanic. That glare is not important enough to risk you dying and wiping your team. Always prioritize your safety instead of maximizing your damage in prog. In phase 2, there isn't really damage coming out until the very end, soft and rage, so you can kind of just do whatever up to the very end. As long as you top everyone up, your job is complete as a white mage. Yeah, there isn't really any heal checks in the remaining lift fight. It just execute your mechanics and top people up with your heals when you need to. White Mage players out there, don't fret too much. White Mage is still a very good job. And when you're progging, always play for the clear rather than greeting damage. Thanks for watching and good luck, White Mage players. first. Inner Cardinals. Inner Cardinals, spread, then stack. No rotate, stay. Stack, stay. Besides. In. Center. Center, center, center. Good. Power is next. She's gonna stock and then use after powers. If you can get the, the stock in chat, that would be great. Okay, so we're gonna go front right after powers. Powers.
Next up is a mustard bomb. Thank tethers. Hold on. Right. Sun and Remy. Left. Give me something. I don't have anything. I gave, I gave, I gave, I gave. Stocking, so it's knockback from left. Knockback. After the guns, though. Trade wide. Get ready to look at your debuffs. Remember, DPS northeast. Reports southwest. Check your debuff timer. Seems like you need yellow. Downtime if you need, we're doing it. Yeah. East west towers, east west towers. Shoot north south, shoot north south. Center. Inside. North oh. south towers. North south towers. Shoot east west. Shoot east west. Left knockback. Uh, left, yes, left, left, left knockback. Come back, come back, left, 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 left. The double knock. Hot. Come center. Focus on the mechanic. Do not use LD. <laughs> You're up in this, right? Yeah. Front two. Front two. Come back center. <laughs> All right. Sunday, Sunday. One more. Back to nice. back, back to back to good fucking shit. No. Okay. Ooh, Was there any deaths? Nope. Oh. I got a damage down on intermission that I have no idea. How yeah. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I witch hunt. I always if witch hunt was the last mechanic in the fight, it would so be unclearable. God. Oh shit, that was that's why it's so fucking cool, man. My heart rates a little my heart rates a little faster. Oh my goodness. Alright, black mage weapon, let's go. Holy shit. Do not open the chest. Do not open the chest. Do not open the chest. I think it's I think it's actually first off, let's get screenshots. But then also remember Day three. Uh, before we open the chest, everyone can guess. If anybody gets it right, I will give them one million gilts. Just straight up. And the weapon?